Today I'm going to show you how to turn your 3D printer on and off using Octoprint. Octoprint is an amazing software that allows you to remotely control your 3D printer with Raspberry Pi. The only problem is that you're not able to turn the 3D printer on and off. Personally, every time I need to print something, I have to go from the first floor to the basement just to turn the printer on. Then I have to give it about 10 minutes to heat up and go back to the basement again to start the print. Now, don't take me wrong, it's not a big deal, but it's 2018, we shouldn't have to deal with it anymore. Well, I don't have to deal with it anymore, because I can now turn my printer on using one of the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi and a relay module. To build this yourself, you will need a relay module. You can get this quite cheap from China, they are usually labeled as Arduino compatible. I'm still waiting for mine to arrive, so in the meantime I have built my own module and finished the project, which kind of defeats the purpose, but whatever. It's just a relay I had laying around. I'll just summarize how I built this relay board, because this is really not what this video is about. The relay I have is rated for 3 volts, so I measured the current it's drawing at 3.3 volts, then I calculated its resistance using the Ohm's law. Next I connected it to a transistor as a switch, and calculated its base resistor value. I added a flyback diode, thrown it all on a PCB with a pin header and a screw terminal. Just like that, it's done. If you purchased your relay module instead of building one like a normal person, then it's most likely rated for 5 volts. Make sure it also works with 3.3 volts signal. By connecting the VCC pin to 5 volts, GND pin to ground pin, and the input pin to 3.3 volts. In case nothing happens, there is a link in the description with a simple modification of the board that will fix that. Alright, with the relay working, we can hook it up to the power cord it's going to be switching. This is the power cord from your 3D printer. Unplug it and remove part of the insulation at one end. Be very careful not to cut too deep, as we don't want to damage any of the wires inside. I found that making really shallow cuts and then ripping the insulation is quite effective. With the wires exposed, cut the brown one or the black one right in the middle and strip both ends. One end can be connected to the COM pin and the other to the NC pin on the relay module. And yes, I know my relay module has a different pinout than every other relay module, just ignore that please. And if you want to live, just please don't plug the power cord in yet. As a matter of fact, don't plug it in until we are completely done. Next, we are going to be connecting the relay module to the Raspberry Pi. This is the pinout of the, of the Raspberry Pi pin header. We need 5 volts, ground and any GPIO pin. You can simply use jumper wires to connect the Raspberry Pi with the relay module, but I will be making my own custom cable just because I have this fancy crimping tool. The most convenient pins are 3, 4 and 6, as they are right next to each other and provide all of the necessary connections. I've personally used pins 17, 18 and 20, but that's just because my relay board runs on 3.3 volts. The input of the relay module can be connected to any of the GPIO pins. We are going to set it in the software in just a second. Actually, let's set it up right now. Open your Octoprint in a browser, go to Settings, Plugin Manager, Get More, and search for PSU. The first and only option should be PSU Control. Go ahead and install it. It will take few minutes and you will have to restart your Octoprint at the end. Once installed, you will have a new bolt icon. It doesn't do anything yet. Go back to Settings, and now there will be new PSU control option. Change switching method to GPIO, GPIO mode to board, and this is the number of the pin where the relay input is connected. Let's look at the pin out again. We need to enter the number of the pin. That is the number in the circle. So GPIO 2 would be 3 and the GPIO 21 would be 40. So don't mess that up. The remaining settings are kind of fun, but you can leave them as they are. Now, the lightning bolt icon on the top should actually control the relay. We are almost done, but don't plug the power cord in yet. We can't have exposed mains wires. So, I have designed this enclosure. Now, some might say it's just a box, but actually, it's minimalist design. You just don't get it. The power cord and the relay module should fit in nicely. Add the zip ties to the power cord like this, make sure they are super tight, 
because this will act as a strain relief, which is very important. And lastly, you can snap on the lid. Just make sure you are done with everything because it's quite difficult to take off. All right, now you can go ahead and test it. Hopefully nothing blows up and nobody dies. Awesome. And that about wraps it up. Personally, I really like the design. If I ever will be swapping my printers, this is still going to work. And I didn't even have to take my 3D printer apart. And on top of all that, it just looks like a regular power brick. So nobody even knows that there is something unusual about it. And it didn't end up as some half-finished breadboard prototype thing. But please let me know what you think about it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will make sure to answer all of them. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And see you for now.